This is Wes with Sharp Roofing, another piece for a roofing university. We often get people who comment to us after we've done a re-roof that they may see a hump in the roof and they worry that uh, something's wrong or that something could have been done. And unfortunately, it's generally just a matter of the original framing. So here I'm on a house that we haven't replaced this roof. It's an older roof system. Um, <clears throat> when they build the house, all the trusses from this gable end sitting back are all the same size, pre-made at the factory. And when they get to this point right here where it changes to the valley, this is the last truss. You can also see that's where the hump is right before you get to the plumbing sack right there. Okay, it's a big hump right there, right in front of the plumbing, whoop, and a dip. And the reason is the rest of the way up, starting there and there and there, the trusses may be pre-made, but when the guys set them, they have to string this and move them back and forth and get them in the right spot. And oftentimes if they're in a rush, a rain could have come. It doesn't make the house any weaker. It doesn't do anything other than create that little dip right there. Um, <clears throat> and it's a framing issue and it cannot be taken out when you do a re-roof. That's gonna be right there again because you'd have to take the roof apart, reset trusses. You're talking a major piece of work to get this done. So <clears throat> in case you ever see that on a home, doesn't mean there's necessarily an issue. There's no, we've been in the attic. There's no damaged wood there, nothing. That's just the last truss is a bit higher than the next one they frame behind it. Then as they get near the top, you can see another hump. That's because that one's out of place too and the ones behind it are a little offline. So it just matters for workmanship when they string those trusses and frame the house. Um, that's what's going on. All right, I hope that helps. Thank you.